What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Slackers and I got something interesting that I came across and well I might be a little late to making this but I wanted to make it nonetheless. So I don't know if this is necessarily a tease. I don't know if it's a hint perhaps uh, but we have something that maybe maybe could hint at the next arms or well the arms character uh, for tomorrow. So um as you can see, this is from the uh, the March Mini Nintendo Direct. You know, they're like, hey, an ARMS character's coming in. Okay, cool. Great, great. Which one is it? Well, they didn't tell us, and we're left to speculate. So, um, the point behind all this is between behind each character, all 15 of them, behind them, they have, like, this little pattern in the background. And uh, it, it's a little tough to see, obviously, with the character there. But that's where, I, that's where I'm going to help you guys out. So... Each of them has this distinct pattern. So over here on Twitter, and hopefully I remember to link this in the description or whatever, but this person, the Smash guy on Twitter, found something pretty interesting. So um, let's bring this up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sakurai presents the arms fighter. And we'll get to... There's a symbol there. There's a symbol behind the, the, the lettering right there. All right. So what does the symbol have to do with anything? Now, uh, this person was able to uh, remove the images of all the arms characters. So we still have all 15. And what's really interesting about this is if you look at if you look at the uh, the symbol, and it might be a little difficult, but you can make it out. Uh, the symbol is you got like in the upper left hand corner, you got a a line that's kind of curving in towards the middle. All right, uh, and then just slightly off center to the left, you have another line that's kind of coming down, uh, pretty much you know at a slant through the middle of the uh, the, the the logo. Then you have another uh, over on the right hand side. You got four kind of white lines that are, you know, doing like a pretty much a bit a big half circle. Four lines, keep in mind. And there's another one in there. So if you look at oopsies, if you look at the uh, if you look at the the symbol. So start in the upper left hand corner. Remember, you got the line that's coming down and going up and curving into the middle. Which uh, which logos? Which uh, what do we got for that? So it looks like the first one, which happens to be Springman, looks like the sixth one also has that, but Sixth one here doesn't have any of the other symbols behind it uh, that match up with the first one. Uh, what else happens to match up? Because you would think, all right, they're going to do all these different ones, correct? You would think so. And there's a few that do match up here. So uh, what else do we got? I believe it's number 11. So 369. Yes, number 11. Who does number 11 happen to be? Well, if we go by this again, 5, 10, 11. 11 happens to be Max Brass. Okay. That's an interesting one, Max Brass and Springman. Max Brass and Springman happen to have the same pattern behind them, as in from this logo, exact same pattern. So, again, going back to, maybe there's nothing here, maybe we're reading too much into it, but the whole point is, maybe this is a subtle tease, because if you think back to the Byleth one, you know, Sakura doing the, the three or whatever, of course that was him counting in binary, but three, Fire Emblem, three houses... Maybe that was a hint for Sakurai. Maybe he wanted to make sure that got put in the thumbnail for a specific reason. Maybe. And that's what this whole thing is. Maybe this is a, an actual... I don't want to say it's a lead, but maybe it's a hint at who's to come. So, another interesting one here that we got is... Um, I think the bottom two as well. The last two symbols are pretty... Uh, well, I mean, they're kind of close. They're kind of close. So, look at the second to last one down here. Um, it's got the same thing kind of curving in from the upper left hand side into the middle. It does have a line, but if you can see, let's see if I zoom in on this a little bit, the line does not go all the way down across through the entire image like it does with, say, uh, Max Brass's image right above it. All right. Not the exact same image. Pretty close, but there is a different icon there. So um, different logo, different pattern, whatever you want to call it. So you can't say they have the same thing. But what about the bottom right hand one? Who's the bottom right hand? The last one should be Dr. Coyle, correct? Dr. Coyle. So let's uh, let's kind of compare the two of uh, Max Brass and Dr. Coyle. Got the upper left hand one coming down and through. You got the middle one kind of slanting through the middle, kind of going down to the right a little bit. You do have that uh, other, other curvy one that kind of curves up to the left and back into the middle. And then you do have, let's see, you got one, two, three, you got four lines that are curving, you know, that start kind of in the middle and kind of come up. All together. So, is that the same image? I thought there's only two. Dr. Coyle looks very similar as well. Dr. Coyle looks very similar as well. I'm just trying to see if I'm missing anything here. I don't think I am. I think Dr. Coyle, besides the colors, 
I think the, the, the line pattern seems to be exactly the same. Now, maybe I'm missing something. Let, let me know. Maybe I'm just, I could just be missing it. But it kind of looked to me, that looks the same. So we might have three potential candidates for this, um, for this arms fighter if, if this uh, pattern happens to be a tease of any sort. If, again, if. I'm not saying this is. It's just this thing I saw on Twitter by the Smash guy, and I thought it was pretty interesting. I mean, they do start it. How you should start every single, you know, how every league channel Take this with a huge grain of salt, right? That's how they start it. But it's an interesting comparison nonetheless. So, yeah, the, the image is very, very ideal. So, basically what this is saying, if if we're going to take this as a tease or a hint at who the character characters could be, because I don't really think uh, body frame and that stuff, I don't, the, the three characters that are being hinted, Springman, Okay, what do you do with his assist trophy? That could be easy. Go to Springtron, whatever. Uh, Max Brass, Dr. Coyle. Max Brass happens to be uh, the commissioner of the uh, the Arms Fighting League. Uh, wasn't Isn't he, like, undefeated? Until, yeah. Uh, Dr. Coyle, the, well, main villain, female. We don't have any female. That's another thing that people wanted to have in the roster. Maybe we finally get that. That could, that could be a thing, right? So, I think we have three good potential hints as to who this character could be. I'm still kind of looking, trying to compare. I believe Springman, Max Brass, I know Springman and Max Brass, those are, um, those are all kind of the same. Uh, they got the, all, all the same logos. So that is very, very interesting. I'm pretty sure that last one is Dr. Coyle, right? That's got to be Dr. Coyle because Springtron, um, yeah, Springtron's got different, uh, different lines. Springtron's got different ones. So, this, uh, that's interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Is there anything to this hint? You think it is a hint. I guess that's the best way to put it. And then who do you want as the character? Personally, for me, Max Brass would be my number one choice if it came to an arms character. Hands down. I like him. The commish punches in. That could be his tagline or something like that. It could be pretty fun. But, um, yeah. And plus, he just kind of makes sense. You know, he's, a, he's the guy that runs the whole thing, right? He fights. He's got arms. He's got... He's got his own specific, you know, fighting stuff. It, it could be very fun. I'm I'm very much looking forward to uh, next week, or not next week. Well, technically, yeah, next week. But tomorrow's reveal, we finally, finally get it. It was so great. And plus, if you don't know, Nintendo did say do not expect the next, the next character. Uh, no more further DLC characters will be revealed at this time. It is strictly... The arms presentation. We will get the arms character. We'll see if there's any alternate of other arms characters potentially. Is there going to be an Echo Fighter? Some people have been toying around with that idea. Maybe. But the arms presentation is just for the arms character. Don't expect another hint. Don't expect a tease. Don't expect a trailer for the next character. This is a presentation. They did this the last few characters. Banjo's presentation, although that was right after a Nintendo Direct, but still, Nintendo, uh, Banjo's presentation, just Banjo. Terry's presentation, just Terry. No other further announcements of characters. Byleth's presentation, just Byleth. So, go into this not expecting anything else besides the arms reveal. Alright, hopefully it even releases the same day. I'm pretty sure somewhere, they haven't they said that? It's going to release the same day as the uh, the presentation. I hope so, at least. Um, I have to double check that, but that is all I got for this one. Let me know what you guys think. Who do you want for the arms character, and do you think this is kind of a hint? And if I should remember to leave the link to these in the description. You want to check them out yourself, feel free to. That is all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully catch you on the next one. Peace out, buddy.